Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host, Tomas Salas, and in this video, we are reviewing the new Incisor 2 Karambit from Civivi. A big thank you to Seth and Candy over at Wii for sending this in for testing and review. And as always, we're gonna go over what features this has to offer, taking a look at both the pros and the cons in order to help you decide if this Karambit is right for you. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss future videos helping you save money and upgrade your gear. With that being said, let's cut into it. The Incisor 2 comes in with an overall length of 6.6 .6 inches and a blade length of 2.02 inches comprised of Nitro V stainless steel. I have been really impressed with the Nitro V steel coming from Civivi recently with a great heat treat giving you maximum performance on that stainless steel. I have to say I absolutely love the blade shape on this Karambit. It swoops down and is aggressive yet it still has some flats on the top for ease of sharpening on a wicked edge or that new work sharp professional precision adjust. This deploys with your choice of a flipper tab that has some added jimping on it. The large thumb hole makes it accessible with gloves. And I really enjoy this wave-like feature on the top of the blade for the fastest opening action. And as you deploy it out of your pocket, it'll snag and it comes out in under a second. I also like that it is removable. So if you wanted that ultra clean look, you can take it off. But my personal recommendation is to leave it on and get the fastest opening possible. This blade locks into place with the classic Civivi button lock, making it ultra smooth for opening and closing and it's actually a very fidget friendly karambit because of all the opening methods you have i really enjoy playing around with this Initially, with this being a button lock, I did have some concerns about the lock strength, especially with this being a harder style tactical knife. However, I do feel much better carrying this because I did my own testing and I have to say it is quite strong. The other thing I like about the Karambit design in general is that when you're cutting and slashing with it, you're putting pressure away from the lock, not forcing it down, only when you're clearing and raking for different types of cutting activities. So I do have a lot of confidence with the structure and integrity of the Incisor 2. The handle scales are aluminum and come in a variety of different colors. Colors. We have black, blue, red, and gray as seen here. I like the added groove on the inside. It has a sharp aesthetic and it helps provide some decent traction while holding and manipulating the blade. Although it is aluminum, so it is a little bit on the smoother side, but you can always add some traction tape to it if you want to increase your grip. But because it is smooth, it's not going to shred the pockets and makes deploying the blade very, very fast. So there's nothing here that's going to really snag it up. And that groove in there does a good job at giving you a little bit more grip enhancement over this blade. Most importantly, Importantly, this is a Karambit and the ring is crucial and oftentimes a lot of people get it wrong, but it is so smooth, well contoured, especially where your fingers index it and slide in, allowing you to also slide them out in case it gets caught up in something, you're less likely to break your finger. Something I feel that's often overlooked in Karambits is this divot section here at full extension. It lines it up and you can easily strike it and repeatedly hit it for any of those extensions that you may need for any cutting activities. Basically what I'm saying is that it's well thought out and ergonomic and feels amazing in the hand. Although looking at it, it might look like sharp edges. It lines up perfectly with the hand and it feels so good pretty much no matter how you grip it, both in forward and of course in the classic traditional reverse grip. Carrying this blade around is done via a deep carry pocket clip that's set up for left or right hand carry. And I personally absolutely enjoy how deep this carries in the pocket, really doing an amazing job at hiding the length of that ring. So it looks very small and is still readily accessible. Something to be considerate of with this blade is the flipper tab. So it does kind of hook back over in into the hands. So if you have really giant meaty hands or wearing this with gloves, you may experience a little bit of a rubbing sensation in there. But overall for my hands, which are pretty average, I'd say large gloves, it locks in. And I think that's actually a really great feature is that if you get surprised or you have to go hands on for something to tie a knot or check a flashlight, it really locks it in and it's not going anywhere. So you have double the retention with the ring and the flipper tab. And I think that's a really cool feature on the incisor too. Some things I absolutely enjoy about this Karambit is the design of it. It looks menacing and beautiful. Ergonomics, I thought it was gonna be kind of awkward in the hand. It melts in perfectly. It also is smooth to transition depending on what grip you prefer. It actually makes it quite a versatile cutting tool with the forward grip and a variety of different areas you can hold your thumb for pressure assisted cuts. Overall, this is a very well thought out Karambit. It rides deep, deploys smooth, and is a very fidget friendly tool. I have to say I am extremely impressed with the designing and engineering that went into this. It comes in at an astounding 3.2 ounces. And I thought it was lighter than that because it's so well balanced and just flows and becomes an extension of your hand. At the time of this review, you can find the Civivi Incisor 2 for around $140 on Civivi's website, but it is on sale at Blade HQ right now for $119, which makes this one of the more affordable folding Karambits. I would absolutely love to see a training blade with this, 
preferably cheaper than the actual price, use some cheaper steel and give us a training blade so we can train and practice martial arts safely without having to invest in a new training partner. Do me a favor and let me know what are your thoughts on the Civivi Incisor 2 in the comment section down below and what other gear would you love to see reviewed here on this channel. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please make sure to drop a like, share and subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern so you won't miss future videos helping you save money and upgrade your gear. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. Thank you again for watching. I'm excited to see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.